Every blade tells a story, rusty but grand, reminding me of the knives once held in my dad's hand. All right, welcome back to Brian's Knives. I thought we would do some cleanup on this $8 knife uh, that I bought off eBay. I think the shipping was maybe $7, so I have $15 in it. And this guy is a Schrade, um, a solid gen stainless steel, and it is the Bear Hunter um, <clears throat> lock back folding knife. So basically Schrade's um, buck 110. And you could tell it has had a lot of use. Uh, and so we're gonna see if we can make this knife look better uh, than it does now. So we're gonna get started and uh, see how this turns out. All right, so let's just start um, with some Never Dull. And uh, seems like a good place to start at least. So we'll take Never Dull out and start uh, polishing on this knife a bit, see what we get. Of course, the brass is already looking better, and we kind of would expect that. But yeah, it's definitely not had any care in a while. I just got me a, a piece of uh, 3,000 grit sandpaper and uh, we're going to start working on it with some sandpaper now it's just got a lot of build up and gunk on it so we're going to see what we can get done here. And. Uh, I'm just using a little bowel stall to kind of wet things as I do this. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do it. It's just the way that I'm doing it. Here a little, see so where we are. So you can tell we're making progress. Just going to take a little uh, TLC here, I think, to really get this cleaned up. Some of the worst brass I've seen as far as just being corroded. Mm -hmm. We get the worst of this off, we may go back and use some more rubber dull here shortly. Yep, she definitely has seen some use. Lots of use. <laughs> but then I guess, you know, that's what a knife is for, right? <clears throat> I 
I'm all for using my stuff, but I'm also all for trying to take care of it too. Again, we're getting there. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute and just work on this for a while. You don't wanna be bored watching me do the same thing over and over. So see you in a second. All right, guys, we've just been working away on this. I did get some uh, 400 grit sandpaper out to try to move this along a little faster. And uh, I think we've made good progress here though. I think a lot of it was just ground in dirt. I mean, just terrible. see what we got here wiping her down and then it's not super dirty I don't know if y'all can really see that and it's getting dark outside too which doesn't help anything but it's not super dirty down inside the knife which is interesting to think about but it's like this over top of there still just using some ballastol I was gonna use my wire wheel, but the one I've got near me here won't go, won't reach that far. Too shallow. This is all right. Mm, dirtier than it looked, I guess. I think we're getting somewhere though and yeah I'm being very careful with the plate open there as we all should be That's probably going to get a dip into some mineral oil too. Being, it's looking pretty dry. Okay, and then some of this I can get with this little guy. I think so. Mm, you won't quite go down in there. Okay. Well, you still get the front of the blade there. See if we can make that look better. And use my brass brush some more here. can get that with the wire wheel.
All right, guys, what do you think so far? I think it's looking pretty good. Just wipe it down good here. Got my See what we got. Oh, Terry taught me about uh, using a sponge. This is actually a sanding block, uh, but it works really well to, to uh, press against when you're doing some sanding there. Of course, you have to be careful. I usually cover it with some sandpaper or a sandpaper with a cloth or something, so I'm not scarring anything up that I care about. But uh, of course, a regular sponge would work as well. And let's see here, we'll get that nail nick, make sure it's not full of cred. Yeah, so I think it's looking pretty good, guys. And I do have um, a sheath that I'm going to clean up here in a second and see what it looks like. So let me lay this down for a minute, and I'll show you the sheath. So, you know, it's been packed and used, as you can tell here. So I'm going to grab, um, I've got some leather cleaner uh that looks like this called leather leather honey and then i've got uh, some conditioner as well in the same brand there so we're gonna apply some of this do a little cleaning here on this sheath Thinking some of that's probably paint too. Do you guys have a favorite leather cleaner? If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what it is. that dry a bit and then we'll come back and and put some uh, conditioner on it so see you guys in a minute all right guys so let's take a look at what we got here um, so I did a little bit of work on the blade uh, on this knife you can tell you know it's worn down quite a lot um, and I'd say it could have had the tip broken at one time. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's quite a bit different than another. I've got a, let me see if it's here. Yeah, I still got it here. So let me show you a comparison here. So this is an Uncle Henry. Basically the same knife. And let's see here. I don't know if I can really show it on here. Well, you know, I thought it was worse than, than what it is. So, yeah, it's really just that primarily the tip there, it looks like. Okay, so it's better than I thought. Okay, so, yeah, it definitely could use um, some work uh, on the tip there. I don't really have a good way to... Um, you know, I don't have a, any kind of uh, way to um, 
reshape that a bit to get that to be a nice sharp point again. Um, I don't know if I could ever get it quite right just with sharpening. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's the biggest issue I see with it still. Um, I think, um, you know, the brass and the hand, the scales or the handles look pretty, pretty good on it at this point. Uh, it does show some wear, of course, but, uh, outside of that, I let this guy also soak in some mineral oil overnight, uh, cause it was super dry. But, uh, yeah, I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. Uh, the sheath is not going to look too much better. I did clean it. Um, I'm going to put some conditioner on it since it's dry now. Uh, but, you know, it's just got, I think that's probably paint primarily uh, on here, so I'm not sure. You know, maybe some um, paint thinner would, would remove some of this. I'm not sure what that might do to the leather, but... Uh, you know, still very functional. Doesn't necessarily look the best. But, uh, yeah, I thought the knife turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, if you have any tips on uh, getting a tip on that again, let me know that as well in the comments. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, that's it from here. Uh, and we will talk to you in the next video. In the meantime, God bless each one of you. And uh, thank you so much for uh, stopping in and taking your time to watch another video. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.